Okay, we're in a we're here in a coast chaparral of northern Baja California, Mexico, and one of my favorite plants, Ornithostaphylos oppositifolia, is everywhere. You can see it's just it's really loving the full sun exposures uh, in this canyon. We're up out of the canyon now, where the coast live oak is, and now we're getting more into the hotter, drier, more fire dependent scrub. Ornithostaphylos is a member of Ericaceae, the blueberry family. Super rare, only occurs in one spot in the U.S. in San Diego County, right along the border wall. Uh, but it's very important here uh, in terms of its mycorrhizal, ectomycorrhizal associations. Alan, do you want to tell us about what's going on here? We're finding a whole bunch of ectomycorrhizal mushrooms under this Ornithostaphylos. There's Lactarius, Rusula, Tarzetta, uh, Coltricia. These are things that you pretty much only find under trees that have ectomycorrhizal associations. And so here, where the, the, the California Floristic Province Chaparral starts to kind of turn great into great into desert, it's kind of unusual to be finding a lot of ectomycorrhizal mushrooms here, right? I mean, you normally just think it's the, the coast live oaks down in the canyons, but this tree, it turns out, is actually very ecologically important, and it's got a whole fungal community growing in the understory, huh? Yeah, people don't look for mushrooms under chaparral very often, but when you do, there's really quite a lot, and it's very interesting things, a lot of things that you don't find in the forest. So this is one of them. Tell, tell us what this is. This is a Lactarius, and it's a really interesting species of Lactarius because it has a zonate cap and mild flavor. So this is a Lactarius I've never seen before, probably unique to this habitat. Right here, this is another ectomycorrhizal mushroom, but this is an ascomycete, right? Yeah, this is Tarzetta, so it's closely related to Pizza. It makes it spores in the hymenophore in there. Usually I see this one under Coast Live Oak in the San Diego area. But there is quite obviously no coast live oak here. There's Melosma lorina, which is a poison oak mango family, Anacardiaceae, not ectomycorrhizal. So far as we know, there's Ceanothus here too, also not ectomycorrhizal. Really the only thing that's mycorrhizal or from a mycorrhizal family is that Ornithostaphylos, the blueberry family, Ericaceae. What's this little guy here too? That's kind of interesting. So that's a Paniolus. So that's a sapotrophic mushroom. And this one has psilocybin. It's in the Paniolus cinctulus group. And so this is probably an undescribed species, huh? Almost certainly, because I have sequences of it. It only matches a couple other sequences in GenBank, one from Arizona. Uh, it doesn't match anything that has a name. And then over here, what's, what's this? So here we have a Rusula. This is in the Rusula cremora color group, which is a huge group, uh, probably undescribed. And the Rusulas have this stem that snaps like chalk. You can see where it got picked here and it's broken. It's... Um, you know, it's just, there's no fibers sticking out of the break. It just snapped like a piece of chalk. And I just took a little bite of this Rusula, and it's very peppery. Yeah. So that supports that it's probably in the Cremora color group. And all the Rusulas are symbiotic with, with plants, right? They're yeah, all ectomycorrhizal? Yeah, everything in the Rusulaceae is ectomycorrhizal. And another thing from the Rusulaceae is this Lactarius here. And it's kind of weird seeing such a big Lactarius under the Ornithostaphylos, but I guess it doesn't need a big tree to be a good ectomycorrhizal host. So it's a big chunky mushroom, kind of kind of hard, like lots of flesh. And where it's broken, they'll bleed latex if they're a little bit fresher. Obviously, Ornithostaphylos is a massively important tree ecologically. It's one of the, the few ectomycorrhizal plants that you get in the chaparral once you get out of the canyons and get away from the, the oaks, which of course are down there. You're rarely going to see oaks growing open and exposed. It's just too fucking hot here in the summer. Remember, this is where California chaparral slowly grades uh, into desert. I mean, you go 100 miles, maybe 60 miles south, you've got giant Cardone cacti. So, underappreciated plant for sure, Ornithostaphylos. And there's the flowers on it. You can see, like most members of uh, the Arbutoid clade, they're buzz-pollinated. Buzz-pollinated flowers, so they got porocidal anthers that dump out pollen when a bumblebee uh, or a little honeybee, uh, you know, vibrates its wings out there. Just like the cereal dispensers in a Moto 6, you know, only the, only dumps out its pollens in a, its pollen in little discreet packets. You got that bright white abaxial surface, that bright white underside. Wonderful fucking plant. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.